So, me and the dog have uh, decided to come out again for sunset now, and we've headed up to Thurn Mill. Uh, you should be able to see just there, that's Thurn Mill. Uh, it's a bit of a lovely location because we have another mill just nestled away down there as well. So, uh, yeah, this place is beautiful. I come down here quite a lot. It's, again, not far from where I live, probably about, uh, again, 30 minute drive. And uh, yeah, it's, it's beautiful, it really, really is. Loads of wildlife. We've got a donkey. And uh, horses, there's loads of reeds around here as well. Uh, it's just spot on here. I'm just hoping that that cloud you can see there behind me is going to behave and it's going to give us the shot we're looking for. So I'm hoping for a bit of golden glow in the sky and uh, with a bit of luck we should be getting that. But this is a well trodden path coming down here. I mean I've, I've been down here so many times. The uh, It's such a busy area here. Good pub just down where the down at the end of the stafe there as well. So uh, yeah it's going to be popular with, with the boaters who are up here on holiday having a nice weekend. But uh, yeah, so what I'm hoping for here, some really nice long exposure, cloud moving as well. I can't see any reason why we're not going to be getting that. The cloud formation has been like this pretty much all day. So if anything's going to change now, it'd be, well, I think it'd be tough luck. But yeah, I'd be very, very surprised. So hopefully we're going to get treated as something really, really nice. So uh, there's dog Pepper. So yeah, so we've uh, walked a little bit further down. Gonna get a slightly different stance now on this uh, on this wind pump here, and see what we can sort of line up. I think. Yeah, this looks pr pretty awesome. There we are. So I'm kind of happy to go with that for a shot. It's uh, going to offer a fair bit, I think. So I'm now attempting a massive panoramic, which is going to run the whole length of the river, basically, well, the whole width of the river, even, not the whole length, and, uh, and pull in all this cloud formation as well. I'm really just trying to get all this done before these swans come up into the frame. I mean, I'm sort of shooting ahead of them here. Um, I'm going to get this frame here. Might get away with it, but that cloud formation is really, really nice. This panoramic's going to work pretty cool, I should think. It's uh, it's it's just one of those things I thought I'll give it a go. It's a nice span of river. Uh, with a bit of luck, this is going to work out. I'm not too sure because there's not a lot for it to stitch. The panoramic, when you start looking straight out there, it's very very flat it may work it may not um, but yeah it's one of those things that's got to be worth a try as well it's taken me about sort of 10 minutes to get the tripod nice and leveled up as well so we can get it to run how I'd expect it to as well just check this one here seconds again there. Oh this is going to be so touch and go if the swans are actually going to get into the frame or not but yeah it's uh, just this colour is just starting to go absolutely insane as well. I think I should have been a bit further up the river as well. I might actually get this shot, run up the river and see if I can get this cloud and everything else in behind the wind pump as well. It might lend itself. It's not too far a walk, it's only two minutes, so yeah, we can hopefully do something with that. But I ain't going to finish this panoramic, because if this works, this is going to be so nice as well. It's, it's one of those things where uh, you don't know unless you try, isn't it? So yeah, as part of the parcel of photography, is experimentation is kind of key. <laughs> Quick stomp back up the river. 
where we passed on earlier on. I'm glad I came down here because it's quite a it's a new little spot that I hadn't seen before. And uh, we're only two minutes up up the track, but I think that's going to be enough time to catch that colour. But it's more that texture in the cloud, and that's just going to give something really really cool on this frame. And uh, I think Pepper thinks we're going back to the car, but uh, not quite yet. We've got a two minutes stomp up the track here. Yeah, you see that cloud formation there over behind my head there. That's what I'm wanting to get. It's the wind pump with the uh, with all that in there behind it. I think that's just going to really, really lend itself to the photo here. I've got a nice sunset from here before, but uh, I think this is going to top that one. So we stomp. So I've stomped up here, and we've got a panoramic shot from earlier on. But this is going to be the shot for the session. Uh, we've got light coming in on a nice V. Have a little look. That is just absolutely ideal. So I've got, I've got one frame there. That is just with the three-stop hard grad on there. What that's going to do is just make that sky exactly as you see there really, really moody as heck. Um, and we're just gonna just roll with that one there. The cloud is moving a tiny little bit. I am thinking about maybe sticking in the, where are we on two seconds on there, sticking the stick stop and see what we get from that as well. But I mean, if that's all I come away with now from the night, I'm gonna be very, very happy. That is as you'd like it to be, really. So yeah, I'm just gonna close up the aperture, probably drop down the ISO a little bit as well. Just and get a slightly longer exposure on there as well. So down to eight seconds on the exposure, and uh, with that, I'm just going to be able to um, just get the water a little bit smoother as well. That's all I'm really going to want from that now. But yeah, like I say I'm not going to stick on this six stop and uh, see how we go from there quickly because we haven't got much left of this light. It's just this last bit of cloud on it now, and uh, I really just want to take advantage of that. But, but yeah, that's kind of. Absolutely perfect. A couple of swans in the frame there, but they'll soon Photoshop out as well. It's a bit like this massive stormy cloud, but it's not. It's tomorrow it's meant to be absolutely cloudless and perfect. So got this little slithers of light in here as well. So yeah, all done there. Uh, so yeah, let's just go for a really nice long exposure and go from there. Six stop filters in, and that's a little tweak on there as well. And let's get ready to shoot. Two second timer, as always. And two, one. This is two minute exposure on here as well. So we've got a bit of standing around to do now. There's not going to be much light left after this shot as well. Potentially that'll be end of the session and uh, go home, get some dinner, get everything backed up as well, and see how we go from there. But like I said, I've, I've got the photo I really, really wanted from here as well. Absolutely dramatic as they come skies. Details attack sharp, I double checked on all that as well. And uh, that's why I'm happy now just to experiment with this. Like I said, six stop, two minute exposure. It's a fair while to be shooting, especially this time of night as well. The light is gonna drop off as well. It did calculate at uh, one minute 30, one minute 40, it should have been on the exposure. But because the light's gonna be dropping off really, really quickly, I've decided to add a little bit more in as well, just to compensate for that as well. Cause two minutes, the light does change that quickly while you're out here as well and uh, yeah so I just decided just to go for just a little bit extra and get it right first time because I think after that two minute exposure we're not going to give you much of a chance to be experimented again but, so two minute exposure is just about to finish now last little bits of light just coming in on the frame there as well just checking what I've got on that two minute one there oh my god that is absolutely sure you'll be seeing this in the vlog later on when it's online and it's been all edited up as well but like I say it's gonna grab one more of here just adjust our exposure 
so it's all good. The light here is absolutely phenomenal. I'm not going to walk away from something like this. You're looking mad. It's uh, really, really is something else. Just changing all my ISO. Thirteen second exposure at um, f13 as well. It's just going to smooth out those ripples in the water. We're not going to get any sort of movement coming off in the cloud. It's not moving that quickly either. But the last the colour is now sort of dissipating away again. And it's uh, what a what a sunset. Oh my god, this has been so long overdue. Just enjoy it. I mean, just really, really enjoy what is going on out there because. Like I say, it's just sometimes you've got to just take that step back and and just look at it. But tonight's not the night for that. Tonight's the night for shooting and just enjoying what's around here in the sky and creating us for images. And that, I think, I will call a wrap, I think, because I am very impressed with that on there. Cool. So, yeah, I am going to call that a night now. And yeah, I'm going to get packed up and get walking back to the car and go get some dinner.